Now, normally, I wouldn't make this kind of video. Like, usually, you see me as some sort of family-friendly channel, and I still try to be. But it's April 1st, so let's go do a waifu tier list. So anyway, uh, normally, i probably put this under fat content, because it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing, and this is not going to be fat content, uh, fat content playlist, so uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a fat waifu tier list, based on that you just done the OCs. Um, I'm just say this right now, Haether is not in this tier list for some reason, even though Nerthus is, so, uh, I don't, I think I don't know where to put her, I think I'll probably put Haether in C, uh, if I were to, you know, if she was there. So, uh, yeah, I guess we can, you know, start this thing, so, uh, let's get this out of the way first, so, um, let's get this out of the way first, you here, um, who else? Yeah, I just put like the top one here, uh, and then we could probably uh, where is you here? And yeah, sure. I know, actually, no, you, you way here. Okay, there we go. I think we can now truly begin. So let's go start with with the owl down here. Actually, would it be worse than the elder? Not really. It looks worse. Anyway, yeah, uh, being the front and center of all of the uh, updates and stuff, having the voice of Morgana from from uh, Persona Five uh, and Celtis, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, you you belong in the bottom here, uh, but mostly because being front and center of, uh, of like the whole update stuff, the gotcha nonsense. So yeah, you go down here. I don't care about you. Okay, so uh, next up, Anna. Uh, I think she also goes down here, but uh, above the other three. But mostly because I, the Annas have more or less all the same personality, just being Mr. Krabs. So yeah, she's not a good wifey. She's a good like. Porter. She's not even good in battle, so I'm just gonna put her down here. She's not even that great. By the way, I'm putting it here not just because of the wifey stats, but also because of uh, how good they are, like actual actual units, which is why she's here. Uh, but anyway, let's go uh, continue on. Um, Dagger. I think Dagger is a pretty cool character. Uh, I feel like her personality is just. just Pretty cool. She has that tomboy personality. Uh, but also, she's massive. So, like, I guess her and Nod would probably belong right up here just for the same reasons. Like, can you waifu them? I mean, if you want. But, uh, not S tier waifu. Uh, but, uh, Dagger being here is just. Like, if you like the, the typical tomboyish personality, then yeah, I guess you could put up here by, like, I think Dagger being up here is good enough. Uh, what's next? What's next? Oh, let's put the summoners here. Um, let's put the summoners all the way down here. Like, all of you uh, down here. Actually, no. Uh, let's put you up here. And let's put... Where's the other summoner? Okay. Alright. The, they're just the summoner. I don't use the female summoners, so... Uh, and they're generally not attractive, so even the black one. So it's not not my not my kind of thing. But uh, obviously this one goes up a tier uh, for re for obvious reasons. Uh, let's just go continue on with air. Uh, here, I guess. I don't know. Like personality-wise, he's all right, but like. If you want to count her freaking Ariana Grande like looks, I guess you could put her on B, but like, I don't know, not my thing. You could probably move on. 
Uh, well, I'm talking about Aerith. Well, Ascended Air, at least her art is better. Uh, her art is way better, and I guess... I don't know how good she is. I have her, but I don't use her, so... Her art is way better in the Ascendant. But then again, like, her, her base is actually makes, makes a lot of sense, given the setting and, like, her personality up to that point. Uh, but, uh... You guys, I guess, like... See, you guys see still here. She's not waifu material, to be honest. Uh, but, uh... I do think her art is way better here. Uh, what's next? Let's go, um... With Fjorn. Again, like... What I don't... Okay, I'm gonna put this... I'm gonna put, um, a setting Fjorm in the spot that we put later. But I feel like... Fjorm is also... Not white material. Even though she is an ice girl. But, uh... I'm probably gonna say this later, but... Uh, Fjorm just... Is kind of there most of the time. Like, the whole Fjorming Bonds is a bit of a meme in the vet community. Just she up here just everywhere to the point that like even while she is completely sick and starting to die like it does it doesn't become a plot point until like at all actually no it doesn't become, barely, barely become a plot point it's only like when oh she meets up with niffle and niffle just kind of all right you're no longer sick uh but uh yeah she's not very good i mean like i think her initially when she came out she was actually pretty dang good because at the time, she had, like, a uh, Dist Encounter, like, back in year two. And that, that's still... Back then, ha just having Dist Encounter, like, built in is too good. So... I, however, like, nowadays, Fjorm just isn't that useful. Like, at all. She's not even relevant anymore. Mostly because her Ascendant kind of took over. So, yeah, I think, uh... Art-wise, like, Ascendant Fjorm, it's an air just way better. But uh, personality-wise, I think Air's still better. Like personality-wise, I think Air's just better. So I guess we can uh, we can move on. Uh, Freya, obviously, there's no questions asked. Like I, I, I don't need to explain why Freya is attractive, uh, and I don't need to explain like whether well, again her maybe I should put her over here because like her like her like crazy obsession with her brother is kind of weird. But that again like. Uh, who are we as mortals to judge, like, how, wow, how incest works with deities? Still Smash. Anyway, speaking of Smash, obviously she's up here. I think I think she's not even over here. Uh, yeah, the, the, however, the thing is, oh, you know what? No. Should I put her a nest here? Like, she is massively attractive, but, like, she is irrelevant as a character. Like... I think that she is very irrelevant. I think I, I can't put an S here. Because she just, as a character, she's just irrelevant. Uh, and as a unit, I think, don't, I'm not sure how relevant she even was the unit. Like, even with, like, refines and stuff, I don't think she's even that relevant. So, I think being attractive and being ice girl is pretty much all she has. So, unfortunately, I think I have to put her in A. She's not, she's not relevant. Her, her as a unit is kind of, uh, kind of took it over. Uh, but I guess who? Even though, but, um, yeah, I, I don't get to put her in S tier. Like, attractiveness, even aside, she's just not useful. Next up, Henriette. So, uh, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out with this one. Down here. Now, okay, now, hear me out why she's down here, okay? So, Obviously, she is attractive. Obviously, is oh, oh, then again, she, she, she's, her base was not a unit yet, but like her, uh, her only unit is, is a Valentine one, which is kind of all right. And actually, was one of the first few, worst couple of uh, save armors in the game, which is immediately useful. But hear me out on this one, okay? Like, she has, she is very, very loyal to Gustav. She was very dedicated. Uh, as a, as Gustav's wife, it's kind of like you really want to wife with her, but like she is too like loyal to Gustav, like, even post mortem. Like she is too happy to see him, even as as an undead fallen unit. So honestly, you want to wife, you want to smash, but she won't let you. Like she would rather have 
an undead version of her husband to smash than anyone else. So, as much as a great character she is, uh, you can't you can't separate her and Gustav. Like, you can't do this. Like, separating her and Gustav is just, like, disgusting. It's kind of like wanting to waifu Rosa from Final Fantasy IV. You can't just waifu Rosa because Cecil is too cool and, like, her attaching to Cecil is just too strong that you can't just separate. Like, you can't just split them up. So, yeah, I feel like, uh, she is smashable, yes, but, like, you can't separate her from Gustav at all. Anyway, uh, I think we could probably introduce the first B tier in Levitan. Dark skin girls are always what I like. Uh, Sundere is not so much, but then again, no, that, that's uh, Severa. Um, but, like, I don't know, she's just kind of mindless, to be honest. Like, I like, like at least I like Lay Retain as a, as a unit. Uh, because, like, even as, even, like, right now, Lay Retain, base Lay Retain, is probably the highest statted unit I have, like, in attack. I could check, you know, I'm probably gonna check right now. I think she's either the highest stat, like, like, out of base stats, out of the character half, but once I think she has, uh, life and death. I don't remember. But, like, as a unit, Labor Team, base Labor Team is still pretty insane stat-wise. Is she, you know, useful nowadays? Arguably not. Uh, because for me, I have, like, other higher, like, just as high stat units that are just better. Okay, so I checked. Uh, as of right now, when it comes to like base attack, uh, Raven is still the is the highest, mostly because he has life and death ten, um, and Levitain at plus attack currently has Fury four, but uh, also her refire gave her gives her base attack, so she is the second highest attack. Actually tied for a second with her Alfred and Thor, and um. Summer Thor, whereas Alpha and Summer Thor have no merges, and Lady is merged at plus six. So you know there are strong, like stronger base stats right now, uh, and there are better infantry sorties nowadays. I think that she was still like you can make her still relevant. These you can make her still relevant as a, as a unit, as a waifu. I don't know. Can't really say it. As like a character, I think she's fine, but like. She piggies back off of, of the best of best girl too much. And like I part probably why I would rank the ascendant leg a bit lower than base leg but mostly because like she uh, worries a little too much about like Levitain and Fjorm. Well, this one specifically. But um That uh, I think just her just being the strategist here is what makes Base Levitain is just top tier. Anyway, um Hear me on this one. So, and uh, if you ask me, like, you know, a long time ago, I would probably put her down here, maybe. Um, because, like, the whole trickster just trying to be seductive just isn't, just isn't going to work most of the time. But I feel like she belongs up here, but mostly because of her spring alt and just, like, how much I wanted to, to, to merge her spring alt. Uh, and to, and her even her base is actually still pretty good. Like even like with other uh, staff units, she's still pretty good. B like base, even in her spring all, even spring all is like a free a uh, grail unit. Uh, I do I wanted to build her spring unit so much that I just wanted to put instead of liking her more and more. Even though I'm gonna put her bottom of S if possible, whenever possible, but. Uh, I guess she's here, but not entirely because she's insanely attractive, but, like, her personality will probably put a B, but, um, I like building her and her, her spring alt, it's just, she belongs here, and plus, like, the whole, like, it's funny how in the summer unit is Thor and not Loki that gets the, gets the, uh, the summer alt, and, like, kind of funny, that's, I think, it's, if I'm not mistaken, like, the Loki the, as the backpack of, of Thor is actually dressed a bit better than base. And, uh, I don't know. That's just probably my thinking. Uh, we could probably move on. 
Uh, Mirabilis, I'm going to put her... I think she's a similar case to Levitane, in which, unlike uh, Mirabilis, entirely because of her as a unit, I still use Mirabilis as, like, um, you know, part of training other units to this day. And I still use her sometimes in other situations. So, kind of use I still use her to this day. Uh, but, you know, as a character, she just, like Levitane, she's similar to Levitane, she's kind of there, really. Uh, I wouldn't say she's mindless, but she's, like, kind of a little too sleepy. And she's not attractive enough to be an A tier. Uh, Peony, same thing. But I don't know where to put... I think I use Peony about the same as Mirabilis. Uh, her artwork is probably better. Uh, but that's it. Um, I think... I'm going to put both of you, uh, in C. Uh, but where in C? Uh, I think, yeah, they're both together and they're both higher than air. Yeah, I think they're both, like, the same. I'm not sure where to put them, really. Like, I think I do use, um, I think it's New Year's, uh, Plumeri that I use more often. And Triandra is alright. I think Keep, like, when the Keep who draws, uh, Triandra's just Keep party would be better. Uh, no, you know what, no, I'm putting, I'm putting Triandra above Plumeria entirely because of the weird, crazy, the weird, like, ugliness that is, um, Summer, she does, uh, artwork. It is just bad. Uh, and then put Plumeria of all characters in it. I mean, I kind of funny that Plumeria is in there mostly because, like, uh, Sheeta, like, when you think of, when you really think about the whole the Roger scene, if you know what I mean, like, does make her, you know, seductive, uh, even if unintentionally. And she's, like, the, you know, bit blued. Well, I don't know, she's, like, in charge of lewdness, but she herself is not lewd at all. I just find that kind of interesting. But that's where it ends. Uh, Reagan over here for sure. She's not attractive, but like, I still use her to stay in the parry team, and like, she's just useful as a character. Uh, her personality, personality is pretty fun too. Uh, I like her personality, I do like her as a unit, uh, but she's not attractive enough to go above B. So, that's much all I'm going with this. Uh, who else? I'm putting, you know, I'm skipping these two for now. I'll put Thor in A. Mostly because she's attractive. Uh, and she is, like, I like her personality here. Like, I guess trying to be the, uh, not quite a villain, but, like, really just wants to, like, battle everyone just because, really. Uh... Probably the reason why, like, Asuka just keeps fighting for no reason. Like, even though they probably shouldn't. Serena! Uh, okay. Where to put her? Uh, since her as a unit's irrelevant. Uh, her as, uh, waifu, irrelevant. But I do think that her as a character is way better than all, at all of these put together. Uh... Gotham Knight Strike, she's the big friendly character. She's like the sister character. I mean, she literally is a sister character. She's kind of there to be, you know, the main character sister. And I think I think her her personality is just better than all of these all these five put together. Uh, but she's not attractive and she's not useful. Otherwise. Uh, let's see here. Next up is Thrasier. I don't know where to put her. I have no freaking idea where to put her. I don't find her attractive at all. Uh, she's only useful, like as a unit. I don't even use her as a unit. So, I don't even know where to put her. I think I'm gonna probably put her, like, here. At least I use these two. And I thought that their art's better. Well, her art better. Her as a unit is better. Uh... Honestly, I got nothing else about her. Just is kind of there. So, uh, I think we'll wait for, like, a legendary version of Thrasier before giving them a popular... giving an opinion of her. To be honest. Uh, Veronica is not. Uh, I don't even, I don't even like her more than Ilger. She, the thing is, like, anything I could say about Veronica, I could probably apply it to the legendary version. Uh, so, honestly, like, 
her, she just kind of there as, as like a main enemy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this Veronica as the the main enemy of book one, and putting Legendary as like her subsequent subsequent uh, appearances, like her trying to be closer and closer to to uh, Alphonse and, and like just ask her in general to like a breaking point that she becomes like part of sort of part of Asker. But like right now as she is is just kind of not fun as a character. Uh if you know anything about Xander, then uh yeah, to just make kinda of irrelevant. I'm making Xander irrelevant, I'm making Seth irrelevant. But then Seth's already relevant in heroes. So um yeah. Honestly I don't really care about face Veronica as she is. Uh, I'll get to her legendary later, but for right now, we can move on to, I guess, not as next. Uh, let's put not... <coughs> okay. I'm gonna put not here. I think she's more attractive than, than Dagger. Uh, is she more useful? As fodder, perhaps? Because she had this encounter. But, um... I like how she's, she, like, her, her story is like, she tries to be a waifu, but it's just to the wrong person. And, like, she, yeah, I think she wants to be a waifu, but, like, it's to Oter, and nobody likes him. Like, nobody else likes him. I don't think even Oter likes himself. So, yeah, she's trying to marry the wrong guy, is what I'm trying to say. Like, she's not the greatest, like, you know... When it comes to dudes. But like, uh... Otherwise, she's just there. She's not trying not to beat Loki. But like, I think she's like, just fine enough. Anyway, Niffle! Okay, so... I'm gonna put Niffle bottom of A. Uh, mostly because, well, it's hard because she's an, like she's straight up THE Ice Girl. Like, if Yorm's a nice girl, and Kuth is a nice girl, like, she is THE Ice Girl. Uh, do I find her as attractive as... These guys, these girls, um, not entirely. Maybe more than Thor, maybe. I think her summer ultimate music better, but I think her, like, as is, she's just good. I like her, like, her beast form. It sounds like a, a, kind of a cool, really, literally cool wolf. So, I think, it's I think it's just a pretty cool thing. So, I do like her coolness, uh, but uh, she's just not interested. She's probably an ace, if you know what I mean. She's probably ace. But like, although she had like one love interest, sort of. But uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put a Niffle here. She's pretty cool. I like her. Uh, I don't use her that much. Something like maybe pawns, but like I don't really use her that much. I know she's fine. Speaking of just fine, uh, you're next, but I'm gonna put you over here. Especially like dark skinned girls, like she just kind of average. As a character, like I think more, it's like she's just kind of average. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put, you know, so speaking of average, I'm gonna put Sather here too because she just kind of average, uh, but below you two. Uh, I don't use you two. Uh, I guess I'll find ways in pawns maybe to use. Do I use her in pawns? I don't think so. Uh, they're kind of average to be honest. Uh, it's funny how it's funny. It's funny how you put like, uh. Reagan, Ash, Peony, and Safe are all in the same tier. Uh, and I guess I'll do the same with Fjorm. But, um, yeah, I think they're just kind of average as, as a character, like, in general. So I'm just, I, I can't really say much. Uh, there's nothing about her that is above average. Uh, but then I her turn into a cow, that's just kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, I guess you can move on to... Oh, man, I don't want to put... I don't want to put Fjorm here. I don't want to put Fjorm anywhere above B. Uh, okay, so I'm going to say this. Fjorm as a unit is crazy. As a unit, Fjorm is absolutely crazy. Like, at least like this here, if we're talking about just the, just the unit. Like, at least A, like just the unit. She is absolutely... Nuts. She is absolutely really dang good. Uh, but I just don't like her character. I just don't like her character. So, like, Fjorm nowadays just too obsessed with the summoner. It's it, it, it just not a fun thing. Like, I don't like... I, 
honestly of the opinion that I don't like the fact that Fjorm is too attached to Summoner, how Intelligent Systems has been like pushing the Fjorm into Summoner as a, as a pseudo couple. And even after like all this time with like all these years and when Fjorm started, I wanted her to ship with Alphonse. But no, they're they're pushing like Veronica and Alphonse. I'll just put her I'll talk about that in a second. But like her as a character just kind of uh grading. Honestly, like even though she appears in for, uh, Forging Bonds a bit less, but like, she, Forming Bonds is still a thing. And like, uh, I just feel like, uh, as you know, okay, as you she's, she's A tier, or even S tier, like, b by itself. But like, I don't like the fact that I just been pushing Forming the Summoner. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. And there's no way, you can't really choose, like, what the Summoner wants to continue going out with. Like, there's no, like, real mode in which, like, oh, I mean, there, there, there's still like other things like journeys, but like, but um, that could be for anybody. That's not just a summoner thing. All right, let's go uh, talk next about Ganglot, and she is just <laughs> irrelevant. She is a freaking relevant. Um, <laughs> honestly, like, I want to put Ganglot a bit higher. But, like, I, I want to get Ganglot, but I want to get Ganglot solely for the purposes of foddering her, her arcane axe. But I never pulled her. So, like, her as, like, the pr prelude, like, the prelude to Ganglot is more interesting than Ganglot herself. Like, she is kind of attractive, yes. I think probably put her up here or here because of it. I'm, okay, that makes sense. Actually, I'll put her above her. I'm above her. Uh, she's mildly attractive. But like, that's where that's where she ends. Plus, she's like the realm of the dead, so I got kind of like can't have these characters anywhere above anywhere in this general area. So honestly, just she's she been an irrelevant character. Like the shadow ganglets is more more interesting as a character than the character itself. Uh, okay, now now we can finally talk about this S tier. <laughs> This easy ass tier, like I, 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 I never pulled. Uh, I really wanted to pull like Leticia. I really do, like her being like, uh, really like been super relevant in the story she's in because she's been for the longest time trying to be the main villain of the story, and like, like her try, her trying to be like an actual you know dictator trying to pull off like well, pull off stuff you would expect a villain of her caliber to do better than, like, Fire Emblem in general. She's smart. She is very smart. I'll, that's why she's putting her alongside, maybe alongside, uh, Lady Yarn here. So, honestly, I want, I really want to pull, uh, Let Leticia, just for the sake of it. Hey, and if, the, if, the, if Leticia appears in the Summer Alt, you know who I'm going for. She is probably the second most attractive character in Fire Emblem Heroes, like, out of the LC. Oh, no, actually, no, third. But we'll get to her in a second. Uh... Like the third most attractive character in Fire Emblem Heroes, the OCs. So obviously she's up here. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about Ambla. Honestly, I feel like Ambla is somewhat relevant to character. I'm putting her here. Uh, yeah, I think here is fine, but mostly be, again because like I think the the the. the what what pushes like Ambla from B to A is entirely because of one of her um, artworks, like her attacking art. Like instead of her like cloak turned into wings, I think that part that alone makes her uh, a tier at least. So uh, other than that, she just r really, really like like you can't like can't tell like you can totally tell she and ask your party had a thing. And it was like it made it so obvious that they but they're probably a, a couple, but just can't admit it to each other, or at least she can't admit it. But like, um, yeah. But other than that, like, theory crafting, uh, Embla is more fun than Embla herself. And plus, her as a unit is probably pretty cracked too. But I don't have her, so I can't really say. Now, someone for character I don't have to a character I do have and I do use quite often it is attractive in the BNA tier. Uh, Amir, I don't think she's a pretty, like, she doesn't, she is an irrelevant character, almost she's about as irrelevant as Ganglot is, uh, but she is just gorgeous, like, like, not in an attractive way, but, like, she is just, like, 
Uh, she has like amazing like artwork. She's like the beauty of it instead of the you know, attractiveness of it. There's two different things. It's different between like being beautiful and being attractive. Uh, Amir is of the beautiful thing. Like her, her all the flowers and her artwork and like and her her dragon forms actually obscene like just absolutely beautiful. Like it's it's like a picturesque kind of beautiful kind. Of, that, that's what I think Amir is. Uh, and because I use her kind of put above, uh, above Thor, uh, and above, yeah, I think we put like this. I think this is fine. But I think, uh, the Agra is attractive enough to beat, to beat her. But, uh, I do think, like, she has good art. She has very good art. Uh, her personality is really fine, but, like, she's, for the most part, irrelevant. But, uh, I do really like her. And I do use her, too, so... I use it regularly. All right, and now I'm now going to talk about Veronica because I'm going to now she's kind of there. Okay. In the attractive scale, she is still down here, but in the relevancy tier, okay, I'm going to say this. Her, uh, after hearing about uh, Veronica being engaged as a like, part of the DLC, kind of surprised me. To try and make heroes more and more canon when they don't need to be. Uh, so. I think because of her being a little, a little too relevant, I'm going to put her in top of C. And I pulled, like, um in the recent uh, A Hero Rises band, I think I pulled, like, three or four of her. I actually just, like, this morning pulled another one for just before the spark. And I sparked uh, Philly because I hadn't pulled any. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think her, she has good fodder. Her idea is probably good, but like she is a uh, cavalry red tome, which uh, Spring Severa is, and I use her way too much. So that's not going to be replaced anytime soon. So I think in the useful fodder tier, she is like at least a. Uh, relevancy, she is probably more relevant than any of these characters at all. I think, I think um, because of her role, she is in engage. Uh, plus the whole Dragalia loss before unfor the unfortunate happened. But I don't know if that's, that's this Franca, though. Uh, Pedro Gaia Lost still exists. I think they will probably have a secondary event to have this Veronica in. Because she is now THE Veronica instead of her. So, I think she is the highest of all the relevancy of every one of these characters. But, uh, she's not trying to evolve. She's still minor. Uh, but, uh, her is is probably fine. But, uh, I think I'm going to keep her at C. Ooh, should I? Should I? Yes. <laughs> it's funny, I, 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 put her, I put her, I would separate the two. And you're here because, well, you're new, but uh, I think I want, I think, no, I can't really separate Legarns. I can't separate Legarns. She's still number one. She's still number one, regardless of like your version. But like, I'm thinking of putting her a bit less because of the whole, you know what? I haven't, talked about, I haven't talked about this thing with with uh. You know that one that one line with uh Sather, that one line with Sather. Supposedly the theory goes. I, I haven't really fully. I haven't need to reread re that chapter, but like. The daughter, the 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 the, the child that that uh Sather creates with you is Golveg. Which kind of like puts her down a lot, but I can't. I can't do it. Still smash. Easy smash. So anyway, uh. Again, Hather is not in this, uh, in this tier list for some reason. But uh, if I were to put Hather, I'd probably put her in C. But I think I'd probably put her in C, for now. Put her in C, right where the where Trianja and Plumeria are. Like she's she's currently relevant, but like she's not relevant relevant. All right, so that's this thing. Uh, would I do another one of this? I do want to do. Okay. I do want to do this list, but I want to save it just in case I want to. Uh, if Chris and Kevin want to make this list, you know, you know, just, you know, to have a multi-person tier list with this cast. Actually, actually, am I seeing this? Um, yes, you are. Okay. So yeah, I want to. I want to see if I can make this list as a video. If you want to see me make this list as a video, I want to get uh, more more than just myself to make this because otherwise I put every like. Every Xena played character but Charlotte bottom tier. So it wouldn't be fair. So yeah. Uh yeah, that's the 
fat girls tier lists based uh, on uh, attractiveness, usefulness, and relevancy, in my opinion. I got nothing more to say. See you guys later.